Good evening, everybody, and welcome to another edition of the Sports Exchange Live from Winston-Salem, North Carolina. And I am pleased to be joined by Bethany Rancher. Bethany was on one of our shows earlier, and guess what? We get to do it face to face. Good stuff. All right. Well, the Motor City Madmouth once again is in North Carolina here for the National Sports Media Association event. She had an opportunity to go ahead and promote her book as well. So, Bethany, the floor is yours. Let's talk about the first book that we talked about initially, and then you can talk about your next one. Sure, absolutely. So the book was The Big Rock, which is inside the high stakes hunt for the million dollar marlin. And it's about a big blue marlin tournament off the coast of North Carolina, where this year, I used to say the million dollar marlin, this year the winning fish um, netted about three and a half million dollars for one trip, one fish. So it's kind of tremendous and, and a huge event in North Carolina. Uh, Michael Jordan has actually fished it the past three years, so that's an update because he wasn't fishing it at the time I wrote the book, but now he fishes it every year on his boat, the Catch 23, so the tournament has really come in the national spotlight for reasons that you can imagine because he's down there every year. Yeah, I mean, how much has that tournament progressed since the last time that we've gone ahead and talked about it? Just more boats. With more boats comes the bigger prize money. Um, it, everything is getting bigger. And, and it's one thing that never stopped during the pandemic, so I think that really increased interest as well. And obviously, the presence of Michael Jordan. I just don't think you can understate what a difference that's made in people's interest in the tournament. Quite a big part of it. Now you came up with another book, is that correct? So I'll let you hear more about it. I did. So I wrote a book about a legend. Legendary North Carolina baseball coach named George Whitfield. Um, it's called Covering All the Bases. And George Whitfield is well known in the state. He coached mostly high school, but he also coached East Carolina and other colleges, local, you know, small community colleges. But what I, what's notable about George is he coached for almost 60 years. His career was so long. He started coaching, you know, when he was in his early 20s, and then coached the high school team when he was almost 80 years old. So he's just one of those people that his trajectory and the number of people he's touched and the number of people he's connected with. He's at Omaha right now. He never misses the College World Series. He's just this legendary man in the state. I was really glad to get to tell his story. So what compelled you with the idea to approach this book? I have known him for a long time. I interviewed him for my first book, which was about Keith Player, the baseball coach at East Carolina University, because George was one of his assistants. And so I've always known about him. He holds his own Hall of Fame awards every year where he honors people throughout the state who have done great things in sports. And so I felt like it was time he was honored in the same way that he's honored so many other people and some friends of his agreed and, and got together with me to make it happen. Really, during the pandemic, it came out in 2021. Now, obviously, this particular event, you know, we had to do with COVID-19. Has this appearance been in the works for you for quite a while? What allowed you to get in the National Sports Media Association to promote the appearance of the Sport Book Festival? I know that we've had some issues dealing with it. Obviously, the event was held in December, and then from year four wasn't held at all. And, and then, of course, prior to that, I don't think you're at this, and it, which leads us up to today. I've been here one other time, but it was in Salisbury, North Carolina at the time, so that was a number of Years ago, before it moved to Winston Salem, and but I've known Dave Bourne a long time, and I live about three and a half hours away. So Dave asked me to be here, knowing that I have a lot of books and always kind of have another book in the works. And so it was really nice to, I mean, to, to share the stage with some of these writers, these national writers, would be quite a treat. And, and I was glad I got to represent some of the gone topics. Are you going to be around for the entire weekend? I'm not. Just for a couple of days. I've got another event I've got to get to after this. Do you have any other books that you're thinking about working on after this? I'm working on several, a lot of ghost writing, but the one I'm really excited about is about Lenny Simpson. He was a black tennis star in the 60s and 70s. And he learned to play tennis from Alfie Gibson, and his mentor was Arthur Ashe. And he literally was touched by every major figure in the black tennis world over the course of his and, career. And so his story is phenomenal, and that'll be coming out in the fall. Very good. Well, yeah. just, you know, Bethany and Brent here, join us here on this edition of the Sports Center. Here we are at the National Sports Media Association event. And uh, it's an event I really look forward to. Dave Gordon and company doing a great job to go ahead and put this on. That's the 62nd year of it. Unbelievable. 62nd year. And, you know, it's really neat when I've had the opportunity to come back 
to see people like people like Ryan, and you know the list goes on and on. And it's only because I know I'll forget a lot of people. But you know, like I said, you have an opportunity on a much more high-profile platform with a lot of big names like Bob Ryan. Have you had a chance to get to know some of these people? I have to talk with some of them and to compare some notes on on writing. And it's I'm in some great company. I'm really inspired by their careers. Hope I can do some of the same type of things myself. Very good. Well, once again, Bethany, want to thank you for joining us on this edition of Sports Exchange. Uh, you can find our website, www.southfloridatribune.com. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel at South Florida Tribune YouTube channel or locate us on Twitter at Tribune South. So, Bethany, I'm glad we had a chance to share a few minutes to talk about your books and what in the works. So, let's continue to stay in touch. We'll wait a lot to do among more of your work. Thank right? you, Scott. I appreciate your time. Thank you. All right. Nice to see you. Nice to see you.